Available to watch right now is the first of the two-part live-action Full Metal Alchemist movies, subtitled The Revenge of Scar. Now, full disclosure, I've never watched an episode of Full Metal Alchemist, so from a newbie point of view, is this a movie worth watching? Hi, I'm the Artie Dance from Asian Film Fans, and let's check out the reasons you should or shouldn't watch this film. Edward, the Full Metal Alchemist, and his metallic body brother Alphonse find themselves in the crosshairs of an assassin called Scar, who is hunting alchemists for revenge against a series of atrocities performed against his homeland. At the same time, a prince from the land of Sing is following Edward in order to lure out a homunculus that he can harvest for immortality. We then find out that the Führer of the city, at least Führer was the word used in the Netflix subtitles, could be harboring a deep secret that threatens to cause turmoil after Edward's father utters a strange prediction of a future war that could destroy everything. As a Full Metal Alchemist newbie, I've literally never seen an episode of the anime or viewed a page of the comic series. There's actually something very enjoyable here for people like myself. So let's check out a few reasons why an action junkie might enjoy this film. If you're a fan of Marvel movies, or movies that rely on CGI to build their action set pieces, then this film will be down your alley. For some people though, this is a big issue. Personally, as a child of the 80s growing up on some of the best action movies ever made, this is not really something that attracts me. But for the younger audience whom this movie is very much aimed at, then they will really eat up this CGI laden action film. From the opening scene on the train, where most of it gets destroyed, and that was clearly cheaper to do via CGI than to actually create sets, to the frequent fights in the town that results in streets and buildings being destroyed beyond recognition, the CGI is very much all over this movie. How does that compare to the anime series? Well, I don't know. So if you know, feel free to add a comment below and let me and everyone else know how close these scenes were to the source materials. Complementing the CGI, the movie is very visual, and in this case I'm specifically referring to the costumes of the characters. For a newbie like myself, being able to identify who each of the characters are easily enough is important, and this film achieves that purpose. While it's expected that Edward and Alphonse's visual representation is unique, especially Alphonse being a huge metallic robot of sorts, the rest of the characters have clear enough costumes, such as Lan Fan and her little panda familiar Xiao Mei, with her distinctive hairstyle to go with her costume. And then there are the two homunculuses, Envy and Gluttony, and especially Gluttony's full costume that includes a set of very vicious sharp vertical teeth and an eyeball. Thus, visually, you're in for a treat. Additionally, the one thing I was most worried about, the storyline, ends up being rather easy to follow and easy to get into. To help out beginners, there's a tiny, tiny bit of backstory, but it's only for the secondary characters such as Roy Mustang, Scar and Winry. Those new to the series and are hoping to find out more about Edward and his metallic brother Alphonse will be disappointed to note that the film already assumes you know their history. Backstories of the characters aside, the story of the film is easy to get into. We have a prince who wants to be immortal, a strong character who wants revenge, and the alchemists trying hard to keep the peace and keeping innocent people safe. But then the film ends on a to be continued cliffhanger. With the good comes the bad though, and for a film like this, there are some elements that might make this a film to avoid if live action adaptations are not your thing. Following up from the point in the previous section, the assumed knowledge of the main characters does make the film a little unapproachable for a beginner. As the film nears its climax, this becomes less of an issue as you've already had two hours to warm up to the characters. And they're good characters, but not knowing the story behind Edward's arm and why Alphonse is the way he is does mean that as a beginner, you're just expected to roll with the movie. Perhaps this could be alleviated by watching the film with someone who's already a fan of the series. Not always a practical idea though, is it? I mentioned this could be a positive for some people, but the flip side is it's going to be a negative for others. And that is the CGI action. Practical effects, with the exception of a close-up of a monster, is virtually non-existent. And thus, what we end up with is a heavy reliance of computer visuals and green screening, which is very obvious at times with every outdoor scene in the film being a CGI set. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to find out that certain indoor scenes are also completely or partially CGI as well. To be fair to this point, since the movie is a manga and anime adaptation, 
it has to rely on CGI to replicate the moves and fighting scenes that fans of the series would be familiar with. Which then leads to my final point, which is more of a bugbear than a reason to avoid the film, but with all the damage and destruction that's caused in the film, whose responsibility is it to clean up and fix up all this mess? Perhaps I'm looking too deep into this film. Overall, this is a fun film that's at least worth a watch if you're curious. In regards to action, I'd award this movie only 2 out of 5 stars. The action isn't as plentiful as you'd want from an action film, as it does lean more towards the fantasy genre first. But what is here is over-reliant on CGI to be exciting for the viewer. Some will love it, some will hate it. In regards to storyline, I'd award this film 3 stars out of 5. The storyline itself is easy to follow and is enjoyable, although frustratingly it sets itself up for a sequel which I'll need to wait to watch in a few months time when it comes out. It's worth noting, the movie is not too newbie friendly with no backstory for our main characters, but luckily having some for the periphery characters who this film is built around. And in regards to excitement, I'd award the film 3 stars. At 2 hours it might test the patience of non-fans and newbies, but the movie moves along at a good pace and strangely even scenes that threaten to hold the flow of the movie are surprisingly over rather quickly. Overall then, I'd award this movie 2.5 stars and that's only because I'm not a big fan of the series, so I probably didn't get as much out of the film as dedicated fans would have, but for someone like me who hates Marvel movies with a passion except for Deadpool, I actually found this film enjoyable. If you've seen Full Metal Alchemist The Revenge of Scar, what did you think of it? Thank you for watching this video, please press like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to Asian Film Fans for more action news, trailers and reviews.